Well, looks like I did it again. I just can't help myself. I try and look at some of these newer rigs, but it circles right back to scramblers and CJs. Well, let's get out and take a look at this one. This one's John's scrambler, his CJ8. And uh, this one has a little soft spot in my heart because I actually used to own this. Uh, and during COVID, I was working on it a little bit and kind of ran out of juice and John ended up picking it up. So John, tell us about your Jeep. So it's uh, 81 CJ8. Uh, it's got a- I like uh, to call that the Ocho. The Ocho. <laughs> CJ8 Scrambler. It's got a uh, TBI 350 out of what we think is- What's TBI uh, stand for? Throttle body injection. Throttle body injected. And you think it's out of- what? Like an 89 pickup or something? Let's take a look. Let's okay. See. This is what I would call a classic late 90s, early 2000s CJ build. Uh, but here we are in 2023, 22, almost 23, but it still has, uh, you know, plenty of clout, right? So yeah, when I, when I sold you this Jeep, the paint was done, the engine was in, but it was like 90% done. Yeah. And my favorite saying is the last 10% is 90%. It looked like it was a complete Jeep. It started, it ran, it drove on the trailer, but th that, that wasn't the end of it right i mean no, this that was, was a not big project yes it was a big project it already had a brand new wiring harness so it has i believe a painless wiring, painless harness, wiring right? harness um and then the tbi 350 also had its own new wiring harness Correct. yeah um fuel lines were run yep. it has what transmissions does this have oh uh, you don't even know don't it's even an sm 465 yeah. to a dana 300 transfer case so what do we got here uh that's an ac compressor so this thing actually has air conditioning and there is a condenser right up front here in front of the radiator because I put that in when I was working on it. Um, did a really good job, by the way. It has an electric fan. I'm not, yeah, not a big fan. I'm not a big fan. Yeah. Pardon the, the, the pun, uh, but it's electric fan and that's because the motor is uh, pushed way forward. You couldn't fit a standard fan in here. But um, I mean, everything underneath the hood is really clean and nice. You got hydro boost brakes. We always like to do hydro boost brakes on these CJs and factory exhaust manifolds, right? Yep. And then this this uh, particular TBI 350, no smog, right? No smog. So it came from the factory, no smog, but I'm looking at it and it's part serpentine, part V-belt. So that tells me it's about 1989 vintage, yes. I would say. Yeah. 88, 89. Very early version. Yep. Um, anything you want to point out underneath here? Uh, under the hood nothing spectacular um the onboard air compressor right there plumb to the front and the rear uh yellow top battery yeah yeah um otherwise underneath the hood is kind of clean huh? gotta have a pa speaker you know oh the, this is super important you see this that's the pa speaker for the cb radio so you can cat call the ladies yeah you know as a father with young right yeah. kids and daughters in yeah. the jeep with you super inappropriate um we'll tell the story a little bit later but you did actually blow up the rear end leaving the father-daughter dance. We, we right? did blow up the rear yeah. end leaving the father-daughter <laughs> dance, yes. So up front here, what do you got here? 8274. So if you're running a CJ and you got a scrambler, you got to have the 8274. With wire cable so you die like a real man. Oh, absolutely. None of that rope stuff, right? Um, so when I sold you the Jeep, this thing had a 44 in the rear and a Y-Track Model 30 in the front. Correct. And still spring under. Yep. Um, and the first thing you did is did the front end, right? So what yeah. do we got going here? We put a, a, a Wagoneer 44, Alan and the boys over there at uh, WFO Gear and Axle narrowed that up. And um, why did we pick the Wagoneer 44? Because we could leave it sprung under. So that's um, the beauty of this Jeep. It has what we think is two and a half inch spring two under springs. Two and a half springs. inch spring under springs and then a two inch body yeah, lift. They're factory CJ, I think it's a one inch body lift. So okay. one inch body lift, two and a half inch spring under CJ springs. Um, so we use that Wagoneer 44 because if you take a peek here, you can see it has the factory spring under perch on that housing. And then if you look at the steering, we just did the inverted T uh, steering with the Chevy tie rod ends. And you know, that's really the only 44 to put in a CJ if you're gonna leave if it gonna spring leave under, under. Which it doesn't just bolt in. We still had to narrow the long side to make it fit the 27 and a half inch CJ spring width. And that makes the front end about what are we like 56 and a half or something yeah, like that? Yeah, something like that. Right 56 in that range. and a half. Yeah. Yep. All right. And then um, as we work our way to the back of this thing, and so 
I don't think I've seen this green color before. And no, this, that's yeah. You know, to me, that's why I bought this is because I hadn't seen a green one. It made it stand out. It's just kind of different. And it actually had the orange emblems on it, but you ripped those off and kind of redid them. Yeah, so remember it had that fiberglass cowl induction oh, hood right. that we just One absolutely hated. One of the stupidest hated. things yes. is it had a fiberglass so hood. We so we got rid of that. This is a cool uh, metal factory hood, right? You yep. put that on. Yep. Put the scrambler emblems, and then, I mean, obviously the decals make the whole Jeep, Oh, absolutely. Right? Classic. And then uh, you still have the factory roll cage in here. Yep. Shoulder harnesses. Um, let's take a look at the interior steel doors so some of the kind of retro -y 90s type stuff it's got power windows in it diamond plate door panels but it kind of just goes with the whole theme mm -hmm. and motif right um i see you got the factory ac in there which <laughs> one day maybe you'll hook up the uh the belt to that compressor yeah. um twin sticks on the day of 300 got a 10 inch toughy console and uh the cb right in the dash which is wonderful running that PA, and then those gauges you added, what gauges are those, John? Speed HUD, I think, and it's yeah. a GPS Speedo, um, yeah. so you can, you know, and you're I think not worried you brought about it back up stuff. to us and yeah, Doug you guys, actually hooked that yeah, up. Yeah, Doug so actually Speed HUD gauges shop. with the GPS Speedo, um, just kind of some classic billet knobs. I mean, the dash just screams CJ. I mean, this is why I chose this Jeep, because this is, you know, what a CJ, what an old Jeep should be. There's not, not too much new school flair on this, with the exception of the wheels. Of the wheels. The yeah. wheels are, you know, 17s, a little bit new, but with that was, old mag look. It was hard to find wheels during COVID, so you gotta cut me a little bit of slack. Yep, and it was hard to find tires too, it, right? It was, so yeah. 37 inch mile stars. Yep. And the reason you can fit the 37s in here is because you have the uh, the high fenders, right? Correct. Yeah. And then something you had to do is had to do a right little bit here. of trimming. Just a little trimming of the original steel there to get the 37 to fit in there, yeah. but you know, otherwise it'd be a big wheel opening, it look kind of weird. Yeah. And then we went ahead and made these for you, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. So he wanted something that the kids and, and the wife and his old ass could step on getting in there. Uh, so we decided to go with the tube with a little diamond plate. It's something different. Something yeah. We don't always no, do. No, it's totally different. Yep. And it's not an off the shelf part that everybody else can get. And you did this too. The whole door was green, but the whole you door painted, was green. You yeah. painted this black. Yeah, because I think originally from the factory, weren't those that inset was a different color, was I it? I don't not? remember, but when I sold it to you, it had a full hard top on it. It did have a full hard top. And with on the it. full hard top, that kind of continued. It did, yeah, and it the looked The hard real top looks stupid. I mean, it, yeah. this little bikini top with that cage looks awesome. Yeah. Even though you don't have the full roll cage, this is, in my opinion, what the CJ should look like. Yeah. So, um, Let's loop back a little bit. Okay. So tell us about the rear end. When I sold it to you, it had a Dana 44 in the rear. If you take a look right now, it's got a Dana 60, 35 spline. Yeah. Um, what, I think four tens and a power lock, right? Yeah. 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 So, so um, what happened to that? What the, happened uh, to that the girls, the girls wanted uh, to take this to the father daughter dance. So I, I obliged, you know, it's, you know, they want to have a little fun and show off to their friends. So um, we're coming back from ice cream. And, uh, you know, I tried to do, I tried to pull something from you. You remember it's, it's for the kids, right? So it's always for the kids. I was going to do a burnout for the kids. Well, the burnout didn't really go so well as it popped the spider gears out of, uh, that now, rear I end. always tell everybody for something like this, you're going to wheel it maybe one time a year, but usually you're going to drive it around, go to baseball yeah. practice, take it to parties, you know? Yeah. It's okay to have a Dana 44. Yeah. No, not, not, uh, not with a small block. It's not it. okay to have a Dana no. 44 with a V8 and no. a manual transmission. No and you blew up the rear end. Yeah, blew up the rear end. So, How'd you get home? Uh, jumped out, locked the hubs, uh, put it in four wheel drive and- How do you explain that to your daughter? Um, they were a little bit nervous to Was say the least. Was it making noise? Uh, no, it didn't make noise other than the big loud explosion when as you can went. imagine when it usually yeah. happens. So yeah. um, after they calm, I calmed them down and we, uh, we drove the last two miles to the house and so that good, was So that good deal that I gave them on a, on a V8 running and driving scrambler kind of went away when he had to add a front 44, a rear Dana 60. Uh, you, you did a lot of other yeah, you, stuff. Yeah, you've made your money back off yeah. me. Yeah, we're, <laughs> well, yeah. yeah, you know, you, you gotta get a little back yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you have the 37 inch tire on the factory swinging tire rack. Yeah, right? I was able to find a factory swing away tire mount, put it on there. And again, that's just one of those things that a CJ has to have. It's kind of classic looking, right? And. Uh, yeah, everything looks kind of clean back here. You, oh, this is my favorite. God, can we show, we can show the license plate yeah, we on can the interwebs, yeah. right? Like that license plate doesn't get any better than that. No. The OG LJ. 
So one of your options was getting an LJ. It right? was. And uh, you opted for a scrambler, and yeah. I think you made the right decision. I think so too. Um, well, let's uh, let's take this thing out on the road and uh, see how she drives. All right, let's do it. And uh, so you got power lock in the rear, 410 gears. What about the front? Uh, true track in the front. True track in the front. Yeah. So nothing fancy, just nope. limited yep. slips, just, 410 yep. gears, CV rear drive line. Let's. Uh, oh yeah, one of those things that uh, that I've done in the past is I've not latched the hood when I closed it. Everything seems real good till about 60. Yeah, we don't. We uh, go, we'll latch the hood. We don't need that happening. Yeah. Oh, look at that. KC lights too. Those are nice. Oh, I think my pants are ripped a little bit more. This is how I need to judge it. Will the factory seatbelt work? Look at that, right over Santa's big ass belly. Oh, and you even you must have the extenders on. Yeah, that, we, we put those on. So special. that is key to put the seatbelt extenders by the center console because you don't have to look. Clicks right in, and that way you when you're driving, you can throw your beer and buckle, but then the cops looking at you, they don't even know what's going on. Well, yeah, I get it. <laughs> and this thing has wing windows. Wing Not window. many CJ doors have wing windows. That's, right. That's pretty sweet. Uh, and then you went ahead and ran the, uh, are these TJ mirrors? TJ mirrors, yeah, because you know yeah. the, the CJ mirrors, you they actually, suck. yeah, you got to look, yeah, it just yeah, they suck. Doesn't, doesn't work. Well, let's, uh, let's go. Let's go. Look, kids, Big Ben. Look, oh. Well, we're going to see if we can launch a beer out of the pitching machine, you know, why not? Well, there you have it. Proof that you don't need to go spring over to fit 37s, Dana 60, and a 44 in your CJ. Well, I hope you enjoyed John's Scrambler, and don't forget we have 12 rigs of Christmas going until Christmas every night, a new episode. And also, don't forget, go on the website, 12% off till Christmas. See ya.